Hey guys, so it is Saturday and today is the day that Davis graduates. So excited, I'm so tired. I woke up at like 4.30 this morning because everybody's been, you know, trying to get here super early or get to graduation early um, and like all this other stuff, but I am so excited. Oh, I'm just, this is so, crazy that we're already here so I'm really pumped he commissions afterwards at around three or so so we're gonna have lunch and kind of hang out until then yesterday we did have a formal I didn't vlog at all which I kind of regret I wish I would have vlogged my dress and Davis and I but you know we were running late and you know I just was caught up in the moment and hanging out with him and talking to people so yeah I didn't vlog but we had a great time I'll post a picture right here so you can see what I wore, dresses from Lulu's, I loved it. And yeah, right now I'm waiting on everybody to be ready so we can head out and go see you graduate. Oh my god, I cannot believe it's here. I'm so excited for him. Oh, here we go.
Please lower your hand. Honestly, because I would say this kid, but this uh, young soon to be lieutenant means a lot to me. So I want to make sure I do him justice. Today, Davis makes the transition from cadet to officer, from trainee to trainer, from student to professional. You're seeing this transition take place as Davis puts away the cadet gray and puts on the army blue. It's not about getting to wear a more comfortable uniform or the bump in your bank account, although those are nice. It's about something bigger than that. And while this ceremony might not have the fanfare associated with Mikey Stadium and the White Hats going in the air, it's just as important. For this marks the closure of his cadet career and the beginning of a lifetime of service to the Army and our nation. I was literally up tossing and turning last night thinking about what I would say to do this moment justice. And I realized I don't need to say all that much at all. I don't need to talk about what an amazing young man Davis is. Since you're here with him, you already know that. I don't need to talk about what a momentous day this is in his life. You already have a sense of that. But let me tell you what I know. I've watched Davis grow up over the past three years. For most of you in the audience, you've seen him grow in snapshots. You see him for a weekend here or there, over a Christmas break, and every time he comes home or every time you visit him, he seems a little different, a little more grown up, a little more mature. But I've gotten to witness it firsthand on a regular basis. I've gotten to talk through the challenges, and I've seen the struggles, and I've seen the triumphs, so let me tell you something else that I know. Davis is truly ready for this responsibility that is bestowed upon him today. And that responsibility is enormous. In the broad sense, the Army's mission is to fight and win the nation's wars. On the smaller scale, Davis's mission will be to train and take care of his soldiers, to give them purpose, direction, and motivation, to be responsible for their training, morale, and welfare. In short, Davis will be directly responsible for other people's lives. He may not realize it today, may not realize it tomorrow, but the first time an NCO or soldier asks Davis, what should we do? Or, sir, what are my orders? You will realize the weight of it. Attention orders. The President of the United States has reposed special trust and confidence in the patriotism, valor, fidelity, and professional abilities of Davis Buckner Marlar. In view of these qualities and his demonstrated potential for increased responsibility, he is therefore promoted in the United States Army to the rank of Second Lieutenant, effective 21 May 2016, by order of the Secretary of the Army, Eric K. Fanning. class. So this is a big deal. I flew from Fort Lewis to here to, to be here for him. It's also a day of first because I get to give Davis his very first coin because lieutenants never get coins. And now that I'm a first sergeant, I have my own. 
Oh. Oh. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and give you this. Congratulations. Alright, alright. I get to be a first win. <laughs> <laughs> There's the gate. Look, rearview mirror. It's all the I'm way Santa's back gate. there. No more West Point. Bye. Sure looks good in the rearview mirror.